guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have another fall DIY for you from the Dollar Tree. So this one is, I saw some chargers at Pier 1 and I absolutely love them but they were $19 and I think 60 some cents a piece and that's crazy, I need four. So I think I can duplicate it, get it pretty close for a lot less. So let me show you what you're going to need to make the project. Okay, I went to Dollar Tree, but I couldn't find any chargers, so most of the items are going to come from Dollar Tree, but I went to Walmart and bought four pizza pans for $0.88 cents a piece. That's better than Dollar Tree for the charger itself. So for four of these, I only have $3 and something in it, so I only need four, so get as many as you'll need. Then we're going to use the leaves from the Dollar Tree, two bunches so you can get the different colors like we've been doing, you're going to need um, some paint. First of all, I think I'm going to paint this with the April Barrel White Matte Paint. I think I'm going to paint the charger that color all over the front um, so that my colors will really stand out. And then Depending, I'm not really sure 100%, we're either going to use the Folk Art Metallic Inca Gold paint, and it may be a combination of a lot of these, or the, and the Metallic Folk Art Royal Gold paint, and then we may put some Metallic Gold in there. And we may even put some antique gold. And we may put some chocolate brown metallic. Um, and, and then you're going to need either a sponge, and then you're going to need a large foam brush and a smaller foam brush. And you're going to need a plate to put your paint out in. And Okay guys, and you may need the Waverly chalk paint in hazelnut. I'm not sure, but we'll see. And like I said, I'm just going to paint it with the Apple Barrel flat white paint first. And I'll let you watch me do one, and then I'll paint the rest off screen um, to save time, and then I'll be back. Hold on one second. Okay, and then I'll be back once I get this painted so that you can, um, so you don't have to watch me painting all four of these because it's really simple. Okay. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just paint, paint these. It's really, really simple. I just want to put, to kind of get rid of the, um, um, the silver that you're seeing so that my other colors that I put will really be pretty and stand out. And maybe I won't have to use as much paint by having this down on the bottom as a base coat. And then these will have to dry before I can go on to the next step anyway. Okay, as you can see, I just painted this with the white paint, so I'll be back after I get the others painted and they dry. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and as you can see, I have my chargers, all four of them, painted with the white and they're dry. Uh, there may be a little damp in places where I got it a little thicker, but I'm going to start over here with the ones that I did the first and they should be much drier. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do, I'm trying to look at this to see exactly how I want to do it. I think I'm going to put out some of this Inca Gold. I don't really know how this is going to turn out, but we'll see. I may have to totally revamp my plans. Now, let's see. Okay, we'll just put some Inca Gold on here. This look 
looking pretty good. I don't know if you can see it so far. I'll show you in just a minute when I get some more on here. I definitely think it helped to paint these um, white before I started. And you need a pretty good, a little bit of a heavy hand with this um, Inca gold. Don't be afraid of it. And this is what we're getting so far. I don't know how well you can see it, but we're not finished. We're a long way from being finished with the final product. Because it's not going to be a gold charger at all. But it is going to have a gold hue to it. Okay, now this is what we have so far, and I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back, and they're pretty dry, and you can see I've painted all four with that Inca Gold Folk Art paint, and I just really kind of just swirled it on there. I wasn't too particular how it went on there. Okay, so next, I think what I'm going to do is use the royal gold metallic from folk art and I'm gonna see just how how this looks and once again I'm just gonna start swirling it on there not too particular how it goes on I just want to kind of Hit it in places like on these corners where maybe um, it would naturally be, a, you know, attracted and get on there really good. And I'm just wanting to just keep adding layers upon layer of collar and transform this into these beautiful Pier One chargers. I really, I'm excited about this. I really am. Okay, and I'll just keep putting this on like this. And it doesn't have to be, you know, any rhyme or reason. Just kind of hit it where you think it might look good. I just want it to kind of look, I don't know. I think everything I do looks weathered. <laughs> And old, but that's what I like. So I guess as long as I'm true to what I like, that's that's the main thing, I guess. Okay. So this is oh, damn. This is what we're getting so far. Okay. So. And we'll just keep layering it until you get it like you like it, okay? And we're going to put some leaves on here. So if you get a few spots that doesn't like come out really good, we can cover those. So I'll be back after I put the same color, this uh, royal gold metallic folk art paint on the other three. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. And as you can see, here's what we're getting. It's really, really pretty. I mean, I love it. It just looks sort of old, and I don't know if it's coming through really good. Okay, I'm going to put one more collar on it, because I think it needs to have a little bit of a deeper collar. So I'm going to use the Metallic Chocolate Brown. I've actually changed my mind about some of the colors that I used. So, I'm going to put out this Metallic Chocolate Brown. not going to use a whole lot of this because it will totally overpower everything I'm thinking, but I just want a little bit of it on here. So, um, 
that it just picks up like very lightly, put it on and just kind of go around the rim. I want to incorporate some dark in this and just sort of lightly hit it. I wasn't sure if I could duplicate the collars and I got them pretty close. But like I said, I don't want a whole lot of this dark because it will definitely start overpowering the other collars. Okay, I think that is really pretty. I really do. So I'll go ahead and fix these others and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and now I have them all painted and they're dry and all I have to do is put the leaves down. Now something I noticed that I totally didn't know, when you go to Dollar Tree, they have different kinds of leaves. They have maple leaves and oak leaves. Well, I got maple and oak. The oaks are really pretty but um, when I was trying to start this, I wanted to just use, uh, I was going to use maple leaves, but now I'm going to do the maple and the oak. So I really like how this is turning out. So let me get this going. What I'm going to do is just put it around the outside and then I'll show you up close. And I'm going to put it down with a glue gun for quickness. Okay, and I'm just going to let it come just a tad off the edge. And that's okay with me. I don't mind that. And you need to check your um, leaves because you can get more than one. I just noticed that. Okay. And I thought I checked mine really good, but... Things have a way of happening, at least to me. Okay. Okay. And then I'll put that to put that down so I don't get burned. Okay, there's that. And then I'm going to start this one down here because I want to make sure that I have um, have it spaced correctly this is going to be I mean cute So I think you've got the idea, I mean I'm just going around through here gluing them. So I'll come back when I get these all glued and uh, for time purposes and I'll show you what it looks like. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back and what I did is I went all the way around with the leaves and I alternated the oak leaves and the maple leaves and I think it turned out really, really cute. I really do love it. I think it's going to look absolutely gorgeous on my table as chargers. Okay guys, I thought I'd hop back on here real quick and show you better how it looks on the table, on the placemat. Um, I don't have my um, tablecloth down and this isn't on my table as you know, but I thought I'd let you see how it looks, but they really turned out super cute. So like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.